We're here at Air Venture. We're back down in the fun fly zone at the end of a very busy week. I'm Dan Johnson talking with James Weavey. James, uh, this isn't your newest production here, I hope, because this no, looks a little rough to me. Uh, yeah, What's this, up here? Uh, what this is, is uh, let's just cut straight to it. We had a customer who loaned his airplane to his friend. And his <laughs> that friend, sounds like a yeah, formula for a problem. His friend on his first flight uh, ended up doing a departure stall in his aircraft. So he climbed out, couldn't get enough uh, uh, climb rate, and did a classic departure stall. Entered the stall, entered the spin, just was recovering from the spin as he hit the ground, witnesses said at about a 45 degree angle. Ouch. So he hit the ground, his friend walk, runs up, expecting to find a dead person. Pieces and parts, right. And instead, the guy's out walking around. He came out of it with a scrape, a couple bruises, totally unhurt. So essentially, well, it's just Well, it looks a, like, I mean, just yeah. visually, a lot of stuff bent, but the part here where the human is... The human stuff looks all stayed. pretty decent. Yeah. So. Yeah, so the landing gear folded underneath, these boxes folded up, uh, this stuff folded up, but everywhere where the human being was, it essentially kept the chest that's, that's a scary sight, but it's not a scary sight no. in a sense, because when you can hit the ground that way in a very, very light aircraft like this, and walk away from it, much less walk away yeah. from it with almost no damage. That's pretty positive. Yeah, I know. It's, and this is what's in the airplanes today. This is our standard cabin. We use the uh, uh, same cabin design on both of our uh, aircraft. It's like, this is now crash proven, sticking with it. I, I guess it is. That's pretty clear. And what have you got here for us, James? Okay, this is our updated version of our angle of attack. It's uh, simple. Uh, and rather than use uh, pressure sensing, what we decided to do is a direct weather vane approach. Uh, the way almost that, mechanical in a uh, sense. Almost mechanical. So the secret sauce is is that uh, uh, there's nothing here except a magnet mounted on ball bearings and the position of the magnet is sensed inside here. So it's uh, And then sending that signal back somewhere. Yep, that signal goes back over here over to the panel and we can do it. Uh, it in like, flight it when I'm looking at it, it, so. In flight, a uh, cruise looks like about like that okay. and high angles of attack look something like that. Okay. So and that's, that's giving you, you an indication inside the cockpit telling you what in what in what measurements. Sure. Angle of attack just essentially it's just telling you the flow of relative air or wind relative to the wing. And we all know that as that flow angle gets relative the wing, uh, the wind, or the air will break off the wing, and we have what we call when a stall. the angle is like that. You got it. Then you got a problem. Yeah. You got to slow down or do yeah. something. So, or speed up or do something. But uh, what what portrayal is the pilot seeing? An angle uh, indicator? No, he's seeing a linear bar. We do one really cool thing with this: is we floated that behind the window, and on the window there we have that bar as a heads-up display. You can put it in the panel, but we like doing it in the uh, window like that, so you can look out the window at your landing spot and keep an eye as to what the light's doing. I see, doing. okay, okay. So you just, uh, you're just using a linear bar that goes up and down and yeah. telling you stuff, but it's close enough to the outside to see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So James, why on earth would we look at a pitot tube? Every airplane out here has got some variation on this theme. Why is this special? Okay, this one's special because it's very lightweight. Uh, aerodynamic and inexpensive all at the same time. Well, that's a good combo. We invested in some new production technology. We purchased a 3D printer uh -huh. and uh, started to work on it. This entire part is built as a couple pieces straight off of a 3D printer. Then we put... Out of what material? Uh, ABS plastic. Okay. After it's built, then we put an aluminum liner tube into it. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not heated, but it is aerodynamic and it only weighs 45 grams, about one and a half ounces. We make it in a couple of different models. This one here is designed to fit on the leading edge, but of course we also make it in a underwing flat version or even a you know pusher uh, airplane to put on the side of the fuselage. Ah, okay. The plastic, you hold this thing, it's like, whoa, how can that be? And well, it looks it nice too, visually it looks nice. Does it come out black like this? Uh, it is or black. Is that painted or something? Uh, but then we do paint it. Okay. Uh, when it to make it a little the, more durable for time. Huh? Yeah, we put the ABS plastic, what we want to do is we want to put a paint over it so we can have a little UV protection. Okay. So sure. we do that. And in the process of doing that, uh, it also ends up, I mean, it just, it looks great. It does. It yeah. looks very good. It's very polished and professional. Uh, you can't really see the shape, but it is uh, tapering nicely to a sharp edge on the back. Nice job there. Otherwise, your airplanes are uh, the same good old airplanes you've had for a while, so you're having some success with them, James? Are yes. you having a good oh, show? Oh, yeah, we're having a good show. Uh, we've, uh, we've taken orders on kits. 
I've uh, never gotten an actual order at the show before. Okay. So I hear this is like the good old times. Well, you know what? We've been hearing that all over the field. People are saying that they're actually writing some orders. Yeah. Their business is back up. We seem to be kind of out of those doldrums from the past few yeah. years that have been hard on everybody. Yeah. But yeah. you managed to spread the risk a little bit by not doing just airplanes. You got Beelite Electronics as well. Yeah. So a whole range of instruments that we've looked at in the past, but still doing all of that and more, huh? Yes, that's okay. right. Great. Well, what can we expect next from the agile mind of James Weeby? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Put him on the spot here. Yeah, well, You're well, cooking on something, though, aren't you? Uh, I'm always cooking on something. <laughs> uh, this one thing we haven't talked about would be that fuel probe. Oh, that yeah. is big. Yeah, tell me about the fuel probe. Now, that's not something we can go look at because, no. it's, well, it's in the fuel, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, people are really tired of working. The, the, the old float centers, they're gone. Uh, you know, they break. Yeah, they and do. The capacitor probes, people complain about those because they short out, they're long, and they're heavy. We came up with a way to put a sensor into a, a pipe fitting right on the side of the tank. And so the sensor's right there, the sensor it's not transmitting right there. something. It's not going into the tank. All it does is feel the weight of the fuel. Oh, it's easy okay. to calibrate, five point calibration. It, it's compatible with any EFIS or any conventional five volt fuel gauge. So just you just send works. the information to the pilot in yeah. the cockpit on whatever we've it is. we've got guys there. using it in airplanes, agricultural spray tanks on helicopters. We've shipped them to Argentina. We've chip, shipped them to the Czech Republic. Uh, all over the United States. It's really been cool to see it happen. Some great stuff. Well, you're an active guy. Uh, you do a nice blog, and we want to come back to that and help people find out more stuff about Be Light the Aircraft, Be Light the Electronics, Be Light the Van. Where do we go find you on the web, James? Always start by going to the website, Be Light Aircraft, B E L I T Aircraft.com, or our Facebook page, which you can jump to off of our website. Okay, great. We post on the Facebook page nearly every day. So yeah, I see a lot of stuff from you. I'm signed up. Others can do that as well. You bet. Find out what's like going us. on out there in the we center of the country. 30 plus thousand likes on Facebook. Right Is that now. right? That's real yeah. good, James. All right, we're here at uh, Air Venture. I've got lots of stuff on uh, the work that James has done in the past and all kinds of other airplanes and lots of videos available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining James Weeby and me here at Air Venture. Pleasure Thank as you, always. Sir. Thank you.